today I'm going to read you one of my stories called Bright Stanley. Far below the waves, a little fish called Stanley lived with his shoal. They were the brightest, sparkliest fish in the whole of the deep dark sea. One morning, Stanley woke up rather late. Cooey, it's me, he called to his friends. But the reef seemed strangely quiet. <gasps> Suddenly, Stanley remembered that today was the day when the shoal swam to cooler waters for the summer. Jumping jellyfish, he groaned, and he hurried to the meeting point as fast as his fins could carry him. But there was no one there. As he looked around, he saw a bright light. <gasps> Aha, he said, they haven't got very far and he raced towards it. But it was only a lobster counting coins. Go away, don't touch my treasure, the lobster growled, snip snapping his claws. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking for my friends, said Stanley. Fish, the lobster grumbled. Those others were in such a hurry to find someone, they upset my coins. Others, cried Stanley, my friends. Well, go and join them then, said the lobster, pointing grumpily, and Stanley sped off. Ahead of him, Stanley saw a golden glow, and he could just make out a bright, sparkly fish. One of his friends. <gasps> Cooey, it's me, he called, swimming even faster. Clunk! Stanley crashed headfirst into something very hard. Jumping jellyfish, he cried. It wasn't one of his friends at all, but his own reflection in a shiny pearl. Stanley rubbed his bumped nose and feeling a little dazed, he didn't notice a dark shape coming up behind him. And when he turned around, Stanley found himself staring straight into the mouth of a huge... Shark! <gasps> ah! shrieked Stanley. Over the boulders and under the weeds, he dashed with the shark, snapping at his tail. Suddenly, Stanley saw a small hole in the rock below, and he dived down and wriggled inside just before he was gobbled up. Deep inside the cave, Stanley shivered and shook. He felt very sad and very lonely. He was beginning to think that he'd never see his friends again. Well, I can't stay here forever, he sighed at last. And he poked his head out of the cave to check that the shark had gone. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish, he squealed. The sea was a golden orange, sparkling and glittering. It was the most wonderful sight he had ever seen because there in front of him was his shawl. Cooey, it's me, called Stanley, his friends all shouted. Where have you been? We've been looking for you everywhere. And Stanley told them his adventures as they all swam off in one bright, sparkly, happy shoal. I hope you like that book and I've got lots more Stanley adventures to tell you and if you keep tuned you'll be able to hear them another time. Bye bye! <laughs>